Oh yeah, and girls, you can use a heel to protect yourself too. Yeah. I keep a heel beside. So, hi vlog. This is my first real part of the vlog. So welcome. We're in New York for Fashion Week. We got here yesterday and we did some stuff yesterday, but I wasn't in the mood for cameras at all. I have my eyebrows. In my outfit, I have on this like cut top. These pants from I think something I forgot the brand, but they're like vintage, vintage pants. Oh wait. I have on Ecoslada heels that my boyfriend got me for Christmas. Do you think I should blue and you think the jacket is a brown trench coat and then I have a pink H&M cardigan layer underneath just to bring out the pink in my heels and then my brown brows. And I think I'm gonna pin my hair. A super editorial look. You know what I mean? Flopper right around because we're all over my face. Nope. Where my gloves go? Pin my hair. Just stay like this. Alright, come on. Should I leave it pinned like it is? The hair? Yeah. 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 Go on, bros. Okay guys, so we are at Mother's Ruin. It's a breakfast restaurant. Instagram going crazy, y'all. I know y'all. Yeah. I just posted my story for the first time. Mm, yeah. Alyssa looks, um, her at will be her makeup page will be on the screen. Yeah, get into that shit. Okay, wait, let's show her other face of the day. Yeah. Can I have water with lemon? Yeah. I haven't seen you guys in so long.
keep around. Put that light on your camera. <laughs> 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 I had to pee so bad. Wow. Late start to the day. We literally, we, we literally turned up too much last night, and we didn't go to sleep till five o'clock in the morning. And so now, me, Zach. Naya, which y'all never met Naya before, but she's one of my friends. Like my whole state, my whole state's here. We're about to go. Me, her, and Zach are about to go out to bed. Breakfast. Somebody's coming out of there. Oh my god. hotel room in Atlanta. Let's do a quick little apartment tour. Here's my bathroom. So cute. So fun and fresh. The front door that I have to try to put a little what you call it in there. Um, The bed. I don't know why it's not in focus. All of my clothes that I just took out of my bag. This large mirror. This chair. This is my favorite part. My view pretty i'm not gonna open it because i don't have any pants on and i don't want anybody to see me it's currently 3 20 i need a few things i need food I'll get some nails so i'm about to i think i'm about to walk to cvs go get some nails and then get food from my hotel's like restaurant or whatever i don't know the only place i feel super comfortable just leaving my hotel room and walking somewhere is new york i'm here for work um, the company that I do social media management for, Black Girls in Media, wow, it looks so bad right now. We got invited to come to the screening for the Spider-Verse movie. It's not my first solo trip, but it's my first time solo, like, stay, I guess you can say. Like, this is the first time I've went somewhere and, like, completely just was alone. I got this for my hotel door, so I'm gonna try to put this in the door. Literally bring all of my things in the bathroom. Y'all ever like go to somewhere and just know like, okay, this is not my place. I don't know. Like I like Elena. It's okay, but like it's definitely not my like favorite. Like if I had to choose, like if somebody was like, oh, I'll pay for you to live in either Atlanta, New York, or California, I would probably. Depending on their budget, I would pick New York first. You can just live somewhere real nice, you know? But if their budget was not really high on nothing, I would probably pick California. Just because, like, I, I would not be picking Atlanta. Though. That's the moral of the story. CVS run outfit. Um, hopefully nobody speaks to me. Nobody with evil intentions, that is. I think I'm zoomed. Yeah. So here's my hotel. It's really nice. It reminds me of, and honestly, maybe it was the same hotel. When I stayed in Los Angeles, if y'all watched that vlog from like years ago, it reminds me of that hotel. So. The only thing that sucks about solo traveling is that like, if you see the same person over and over again, which I haven't yet, but if you do, they know you're alone. And then on top of that, if there's any weird hotel staff, they also know you're alone. Sorry, I was trying to pop my fucking ears. But I feel like this is a very walkable area. Like, this is where I'm at. Just in case anybody's from Atlanta, like, wants to know where I'm at, that's where I'm located. Okay. We make some calls now. So I'm back at my hotel. It is 420. 
And I just ate my salad. It wasn't my favorite thing ever, but I'm also not, like I am a salad girl now, but I'm not. It has to be like this one specific salad that I eat. So, staying hydrated. We got my nails. I'm about to do them really quickly. Hi guys, I'm ready. I know for a fact I can't bring my camera because it literally says it in the ticket that you can't bring like cameras or anything like that. Here's my outfit. My heels are thrifted, but they're from Target. Pants, Fashion Nova. This is from Akira. My bra underneath was from Parade. These are thrifted. And then this. Hi, guys. Hi. I am back. Why is it not focused? I gotta order this food before it stops being served, so. Thank you for calling Fresh Bites. We are presently assisting other guests and will be with you momentarily. Place a delivery order. How many people died? Um, just one for now. Can I have the Marriott burger with everything on it? Let me be honest with y'all. It wasn't what I expected it was gonna be when I first got there. Like heard of the event. It was still a pre-screening, and you still like you have to have a wristband and da da da. And obviously, I'm so grateful for the opportunity. Like it was still a fun, a very fun opportunity. And when I thought of screening in my head, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I thought of like outside, there's gonna be uh, red carpets everywhere. But I guess that's an international screening. Like today, me and another girl that I met up with, kind of like going down and like over the logistics of it all. She was just basically saying, and I was agreeing with her, like we're happy that this was our first screening like and it was like this because if it was what we thought it was gonna be i feel like it would have been way more like intense a lot still cute still fun still fresh and i loved it i actually really did i really had a good time honestly tomorrow i plan on just staying here all day oh my gosh i love meeting new girlfriends like it's just such like a wholesome thing like i don't know the girls like that yet but like when you meet people that are just like come off so genuine i've been told too that i'm like a really genuine person but i'm like also just super dead ass like i don't sugar crush it and i love when i meet people like that too because it's like i don't have to try to be different like not different but i don't have to like sugarcoat my personality like for them yeah but oh my gosh at this screening we met and saw so many people i don't know if y'all used to watch latoya's life but her ex-husband was here with the kid maybe i shouldn't call her that what's her last name ari fletcher i met her <laughs> i hate to like say that rappers girlfriends or like rappers baby mamas like i'm not into that whole scene for real the only one i really know is just like jada wayda more importantly Metro Woman and Issa Rae, like, what? What else do I have to say? I'm, like, so tempted to just, like, not bring any of these clothes back out. I hold this boy the right way. Right in the eye. You're done. Thank you. Can you leave it at the door? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Got my food. Oh, yeah. And, girls, you can use a heel to protect yourself, too. I keep a heel beside. Yes, I'm eating on the bed. I don't live here. And there are all my condiments in the bag. Peace out. I'm about to eat. Or call my boyfriend. Or both. Definitely both. Okay, bye. I spent 72 hours in Cali for my second work trip ever and this is how it went flight got delayed five hours and then we didn't take off for another 45 minutes so obviously that's why I was in that condition I woke up to a girl passed out in the middle of the aisleway but anyways I landed my friend came got me we got bagels and green juice her dog name is puppy 
so i slept for like an hour got dressed and then headed to the event it was a creatives retreat for black girls in media obviously and shout out to the staff and tasha my boss slash ceo of black girls in media everything was done so beautifully and it was so pretty and there's me getting content and doing my job um there was three flights of stairs so we all got our steps in that day but it was well worth it um it was such a good time the dj was a vibe me getting my content was great and shout out to our drink sponsors we had an open bar and liquid death low-key is really good now just enjoy this moment that me and the dj had <laughs> then naya and i ended the yes both of our names are naya but yeah we ended the night off at the speakeasy slash hookah bar it was really good but if you want to see how i spent 30 hours in the airport after this you just have to watch the next video come with me on my 30 hour sleepover in the airport so my day went well in the beginning we went to the beach we had shots we took pics and i should have known when we saw this seal after this happy hunger games and may the odds be ever in your favor so the horror started when i went to the airport got there what i thought was right on time nope the la to oakland flight was delayed eight hours and they were only getting a seven hour voucher seven dollars is crazy so after this they just canceled my flight indefinitely um and then they would not give me a hotel voucher and there was no hotels available for me to stay and actually check in at one o'clock in the morning so i slept there and yeah the food was gross and way too expensive my mom sent me money because she felt so bad for me um yeah and then i couldn't get fresh air because obviously it's the airport so i had to stand by the general transfer gate and get fresh air and finally i got on the standby flight Luckily, when I arrived home safely, my boyfriend had cleaned out my entire car for me. So, that was so sweet of him.